Do you ever find it problematic starting a new Android Studio project because of the massive setup you need to do? Setting up Herald for example, Jetpack Compose dependencies, adding GitHub actions and also some splash screen? Luckily, there is a great solution. Salam alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sharfair Yunus and in this video I'm going to share with you one GitHub template to start Android Studio project quickly and efficiently. Let's get started. So here you can see this repository, this is a template repository. So this is a great template to start Android Studio project. It provides many, many things such as JDK 17, toolchain for example, Jetpack Compose, adding Lee Canary, adding Gradle, K version catalog, which is a good thing, TypeSafe project accessor. Actually, it's not working for my PC. I started doing it that in my PC in uh, the Windows, but that's why I'm recording this in the Mac because it's working fine in the Mac. We need to uh, delete this one in order to make it work. Uh, and also there is dagger health single activity with many things and also it has multi-module project okay the good thing is that you don't have to fork the repo directly you can use this template and create a new repository from it directly okay so you can include all the branches if you want and then you can give it a name make it private and work with it directly so i have already cloned the repository so here i'm having the repository as i said it's a multi-module project it has the normal app okay which has kotlin 100 percent and then it has simple main activity it's directly ready with this android entry point and also the application with the health application so you don't have to do many setup okay and here there is the this module for feature and it contains its own files the beauty is that it contains a unit test which is a good thing for the view model actually this is sample unit test maybe they won't work for you but this is great start okay same thing we have an integration test and also a screen unit test we are testing the composable screens separately right and then of course we have this way of course here he's using the navigation maybe you don't like some of the things some of the library for example if you don't like health and you want to use uh, coin then this may be a problem but you can do something very cool for the community you can fork this repository change some of the tweaks tweak some versions i don't know maybe you can tweak health to coin for example i don't know it's about your creativity okay so that's the beauty this is a great way to start android studio project here of course these tests are just examples right likely this one is the normal one but this he added some code i think yeah exactly launching the activity and doing some certain stuff but this is merely for starting it's not actually here for the test of course luckily you can use this as a way to start okay and the beauty as i said it contains also some version catalog if you go here to libversion.tml, you see the Gradle version catalog. This is a good thing if you want to. And also it has a GitHub Actions here. If you go to the project, I'm naming the project test, and you have to check here. There is this normal check. It will just uh, build the application and execute it. As you can see, it is just building the, the app. That's a good thing also to have. Like here, of course, you will create other jobs and steps, like adding the tests, for example, the unit tests, maybe. Uh, check and also you can remove some of the things if you don't like you as I said this is just merely for starting it's not final version of course but it will help you move a lot of the burden and the procrastination we have as developers when always starting new project especially if you are working freelance and if you are doing also certain experimentation projects this is a good thing for us okay yeah so thank you very much Julio for this I forget to mention his name this is awesome work for the community thank you very much he's from Italy I think so I think it is Julio Julio Romano, which is Marco Romano. Thank you very much for this awesome project. You can follow him, you can give him a follow here, and also you can give him a follow here on this uh, social media. So thank you very much for watching this video to the end. And if you didn't subscribe to my newsletter, I invite you to do so. I'm putting the link down below in the description. So thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.